What's going on YouTube? We're back here with a brand new video and today, as you can see, I'm at the Wildwood Truck Wash. Uh, I'm going to get this thing cleaned. It is pretty filthy. Yeah, definitely needs to be washed. We'll get the engine washed and all that good stuff. I gotta get all this done. I don't know if they do Landstar trailers or not. Uh, if not, then I'm not gonna wash the trailer. I don't, I don't care that much. Um, it's been a while since the trailer's been washed, so I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna check on prices here, uh, see what it costs, see if it's better than the Beacon. I don't know. I've only had it washed here, oh, probably like six years ago, um, maybe five, somewhere in that area. It's before I started at Landstar. I got it washed over here and it got everything brightened. Uh, so the polish shop across the street over there at the pilot could actually uh, polish everything. And that was like 200 bucks uh, to get everything polished. I don't know what it is now, but I'm gonna find out after I get this thing washed. Uh, I'll be here for the weekend. So get this thing washed. Uh, Monday or Tuesday, I'm gonna get an inspection done. Also get a PM done. So you guys can follow along for all that. But for right now, let's just uh, see how this truck works. So I talked to them and they said it's 60 uh, for just the tractor, 70 with the engine. I think it's a little high, but I've been here for at least 30 minutes now and they've been working on that truck. So they actually take their time and wash it and seem to be doing a pretty good job. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Ooh. I mean, if you want to just give away a trailer watch, go ahead. Oh, you can do that, <laughs> 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 to get all them bugs off of there, goodness gracious. They do RVs here, uh, cars, pickup trucks, all that stuff. And it's right across the street from the Chrome shop over there. TA. Oh, that's gonna be fun. A cat -a wagon wash. My wife will be here in a minute. Somewhere. They'll take comm check here, but they uh, they don't have any and I don't have any either. So I gotta get, uh, my wife's bringing me one. She's got something to throw. <laughs> I brought the com check here. I'm gonna fill this out and pay these guys. I got some nice hats in here too. Oh yeah, I got a hat problem. Everywhere I go, I gotta get a hat. I don't know why. I don't have to, but I like hats. Let me show you these guys, the hats in here. These are good looking hats. Props, they definitely do their job here.
finally getting there. I like the fact that they take their time here. Which they do a good job. Beacon would have already been done. Would have been halfway done with the next truck already. If it blows up, I'll become a millionaire. I gotta give him some. <laughs> he does a good job washing the truck, though, that's for sure. Appreciate it, guys. location here uh, they don't have an inspector in until Thursday night so I'm not gonna wait that long I'm gonna actually go ahead and adjust this here a little bit um, I'm gonna go up the road there's one at exit 3 um, no, I forgot the name of it but off of 95 in Georgia exit 3 there's Petro there that they have one until midnight but I need to go pick up my load out of uh, where am I going Orlando so I'm gonna get everything situated get over to Orlando um, also because I took off so long it was almost you know it was like 10 days or something like that that I've been off duty uh, the truck's been sitting at the truck stop and the truck was completely dead uh, I did turn everything off though like I normally would if I was going home for just a couple days um, but my opinion on the truck wash uh, I think it's a little high for for what they did I mean they seemed like they did a good job but when I got parked and kind of looked over everything um, it wasn't, it wasn't what I expected because it was a hand wash. I expected a better job than Beacon and I got about the same, but whatever. Uh, and of course it is raining now. So I don't know if it's rained here since I've been off, but literally the, I come back to work and it starts raining. So I don't even get to drive my truck around in the nice clear blue skies. I got to drive it around in the rain, but whatever. Uh, story of my life. If we, uh, if we're in a drought, I'll just wash my truck and it'll rain. It's kind of the way it goes. I'm sure it's that way with most of you guys. Spend 70 to 100 bucks on a truck wash and it'll rain. Um, so yeah, I got got my logbook set up. We are gonna get on the road here. And uh, I told you guys we had to jump the truck. It was dead. Um, luckily, the, the pickup truck was able to jump it. It wasn't a big deal. Just let the cable sit on it for a few and got everything going but uh yeah we're gonna get on the road
All right, so I gotta go to door 14 because the guard does not have any paperwork for me. Um, she said to drop this trailer at 180 something, but I'm not gonna do that until I actually figure out if it's a live load or live unload. Because the guard did not have any paperwork, so I need to find out what I'm supposed to do before I go too far and go drop this trailer. I definitely don't want to have to drop it and go drop it and pick it up again and get loaded. So pull off over here to the side, check in at door 14, and see what I need to do. Alright, so we got our bills. We are loaded. We got roughly oh 13,000 pounds in the box. Not nothing too crazy. Got a nice new trailer. Looks like somebody washed it before they dropped it off. So that's nice. It goes right along with the wash truck. Um, so yeah, we have 994 miles to go according to the, the GPS here. Um, and we are going to run up 95 most of the way. Uh, got to stop and get the truck inspected, get an oil change, and this load is a dropping hook. So the next one is a live load out of York, and it comes right back down to uh, Ocala for a dropping hook. So hopefully this weekend or whatever can be fairly quick and get back home because I haven't spent enough home time, right? <laughs> but uh, let's get on the road. here at the Petro in Kingsland, Kings Island, Kingsland, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go outside and see about getting the inspection done and the oil change. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can get this done pretty quick and then get back on the road. Hi guys, well this uh, they have an inspector here until midnight and it's almost 11 but He's tied up doing something else in one of the other bays, so they won't be able to get to me until 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, and they can't do the p.m. until a little after midnight, so I'm kind of like, I'm just going to keep on rolling. I'll do this at another location when I can get it all done at once, because it seems crazy to pull in here. Plus, I'd have to find somewhere to park. Uh, yeah, just it's too much. I don't really want to deal with it. So um, I'm just going to keep on trucking and, and knock out some more of these miles. All right, we're getting out here at the 119 in Manning, South Carolina. I called this TA and spoke to the shop. They said that they had about an hour and a half wait, and that was, that was about an hour and a half ago that I called. So hopefully I can get in here. I, I did get in line over the phone. Uh, he just told me to check in when I get there. Find the gear to get in there. Um, and then just check in here at the, the shop. Hopefully get this inspection done and the uh, good PM down here. trailer inspected as well um, so I'll get truck and trailer inspections done the 120 inspections for Landstar and I'm gonna get a PM done on the truck so all right after about uh, let's say I don't know, 
45 minutes of sitting here waiting on them to get done. But, uh, probably getting pulled in here. this done and get the uh, trailer inspected. I don't know if you guys seen this. This is a 2020 Cascadia. It needs a radiator. He's been here for a week yesterday waiting on it, which is crazy. How long have you been doing Landstar inspections? <laughs> it's been a while, huh? <laughs> crawl under the truck for the inspection usually they put it in the pits but they uh i guess they didn't have me rung up for an oil change right now so he's under there he said it takes longer to remove it or remove the actual uh, gates or whatever over the pit to do that than it does to just crawl under the truck so it's pretty neat that he's doing that said so this place here, this Manning, South Carolina, has been here for, uh, it's been a Landstar inspector site for about three years now, so. Tires on this trailer are pretty good. It's a newer trailer. said no we need to uh, need to wait because I guess Landstar now requires him to put the sticker on the, the trailer himself which makes sense because you run into this stuff so I put one up here and one down here and this is where they're supposed to be is here but uh, so he's required by Landstar to put all that stuff there which is great because then I don't have to deal with it and plus it prints somebody just throw it in their truck and then they drop the trailer and the sticker's not on it and it just causes problems but uh so the truck trailer passed everything's good there we are gonna get the oil change done uh mobile Dell back 1540 and two gallons of lucas one of stop leak and one of regular uh, oil stabilizer so get that done the total for the oil change the uh i bought four 194 bulbs I had a couple chicken lights that were out. Uh, you buy two of them for uh, $2.49 a piece. Uh, so with, I bought two packs of those, so I got four of them total. Um, and I got two cans of brake cleaner. All of that stuff, including tax shop fees and everything, comes out to $3.33. So with Landstar's discount on the oil change, that's that's a huge difference versus the $300 something dollars for the ultimate uh, oil change, not through Landstar. So that definitely, helps out whenever uh, it comes to get that kind of stuff done but the um, I did talk to LCAP about the 
e-log because mine's still on the fritz uh so i'm still running paper logs i have until the 28th to get my paper logs or my eld whatever uh updated and today's the 22nd so um i talked to them i'm getting the uh, keep trucking eld box shipped to me uh so they're actually going to ship it to the campground where my wife's at so she can sign for it uh that's only 200 bucks which is considerably cheaper than the actual system that I have in the truck now, which is the Omnitrax MCV 50, something like that. Um, but that's the whole touchscreen module. That's everything in there. That's like $800, um, which they take it out of your check, 100 bucks a week. But still, 800 bucks versus 200 bucks. The only difference with the Keep Trucking one that I'm getting is I have to actually use my cell phone or a tablet for an app to use it. Um, you know that would be the screen or the module whatever the screen touch screen all that would be my phone or an app um so i don't know if i'm gonna buy a tablet for it uh because i can I'm, that's a write-off i can write that off uh, plus i can use it for other things anyways um so when i get that i will show you guys you know how to unbox that um install that and everything but i'm also going to uninstall this omni tracks here so i can send that back or drop it off at a orientation center so yeah we'll get all that stuff squared away that uh the install with the eld is going to be another video so stay tuned make sure you like share and subscribe uh hit that bell notification so you can get the next videos and or at least get notified for the next videos and uh it uh, looks like he is done and then inside to get all the paperwork squared up i'm gonna have to go out there and drop my trailer and then uh pull the you know bobtail up to the pit to get the oil change all right so we got passing paperwork all right i put my inspection sticker on the inside of this door here i put them on the outside like down here but they start to peel just like you have the sticker and i just didn't want to just put them there that's where i've been putting them so that's where i'm gonna put this one and then uh go drop my trailer because that is passed he gave me he put the uh the stickers on here put the new inspection paperwork in the little lock box there and we're good to go we're gonna go drop this trailer in the parking lot. And Landstar also gives us uh, $25 for the trailer inspection. So um, I'll see that on my paycheck here or settlement here in the next couple weeks. So. get all this done I got the uh, fuel filter here I'm not gonna have them change it because I just changed mine it's good we're good so I'm gonna walk into the shop and find out if or the actual store find out if I can exchange an LED light here uh, that I bought at the Iowa 80 store uh, only two of the, the one I installed in one of the last videos I did only two of the LEDs are working on the front, so uh, there's a there's a problem on the inside because there's only three wires, which you know that connects both lights on the inside of that thing. So we're gonna find out uh, if I can get that done or not. Well, she pointed out that it's been past 30 days, so <laughs> I uh, I can't return it anyways. But uh, there's a chrome shop over here that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk over and check out see if they have it there might even be cheaper than here anyway so see what we can do all right so the uh chrome shop here the midwestern mid-eastern midwestern cheese sorry about that uh they are on instagram i didn't see their instagram name anywhere i'm sure you can just google it or type in their name of their truck stop or chrome shop here. Uh, MidEasternChromeShop.com. Chrome Stop. ChromeStop.com. Jeez, butchering it. But uh, picked up the light I needed and I got some butt connectors. Uh, the prices were about the same as everywhere else. So it's convenient. There's a truck stop right here. They got pretty good hours, eight to eight. 
Uh, I think they're every day. Um, quite a bit of chrome in there. Amy, the uh, lady that took my money, uh, she was nice. Definitely uh, good customer service there. And yeah, I'll definitely be back for things that I need. Uh, I'm gonna get back over to the truck stop here and see if I can't get this installed or work on my other ones to see how my oil change is coming along. All right, so I've been here a whole lot longer than I wanted to be. The, uh, well, the technician that was supposed to do the oil change hurt his hand on the, the grease job that was in front of me in Bay 2. So he had to clock out and go home. Uh, this other guy that was supposed to do it, he's supposed to be here at 4, he just showed up and it's like 20 minutes after. Was it 419? So this is frustrating. Been here since one, trying to get this done, and uh, they said they can get me right in, no problem. But it's just taking a little longer than expected. So I'm just gonna go sit down and eat while I wait and try to relax a little bit before I get back on the road. Finish this load off. So we are getting the oil change done finally. It's taking long enough, but. There it is, uh, what, 12 after five, so hopefully I can be out of here in the next 30 minutes. But just getting it all greased up and all that good stuff. All right, so we got a receipt from the truck stop, the oil change. Uh, just gonna walk around the truck, make sure everything is secure. Hood latches down, just kind of do a nice walk around. You guys leave tools everywhere and all that good stuff. So just uh, make sure it's all good. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, my favorite! I love. That right there, that is absolutely my favorite. I wonder how nasty the steering wheel is. Where he got in to start the truck. I am gonna go get some, some to clean that off with. So, yeah. So I gotta drop this trailer in any open dummy door in between actual doors and then uh, she said my empty will be on the fence line or something out there so that's what I gotta do. Um, shouldn't be too big of a deal as long as there's an empty here. All right guys, so we made it here to Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania uh, at the Whirlpool location, as you've seen when we pulled in. Uh, I got my empty trailer here, and I'm actually taking this about 30 miles down the road to uh, York, and I'm gonna pick up a preloaded trailer there, take that right back down to Ocala. Um, that'd be another video. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Um, I, I had something else I wanted to say as far as the truck wash goes. The the guys there, they used, let me check and make sure it's empty. <laughs> um, they used a brightener on my tanks and steps and everything. Everything was polished. It just needed to be kind of uh, hand polished again to kind of bring it back to life. But 
now most of it's all the like gray other than my tanks they're okay i guess but everything else is the bare rough looking aluminum so i gotta get that redone but i i told the manager about it or the boss whatever i asked if he was the boss and uh i said hey you guys do anything with polishing or anything like that uh like across the street or or whatever and he's like no we don't i'm like well you guys used brightener on all my aluminum i mean i'll show you what i'm talking about obviously it's been a few days but um the, these i mean my steps were shiny the tanks are you know they obviously need to be repolished but um the wheels were all polished and all that but they kind of took that away but uh, i asked him about it and he just walked off like he didn't even care so i won't go back um i think they did an okay job as far as washing the truck but my overall experience there the guys that were actually doing work were great the boss man or whatever seemed like he was kind of high and mighty on a high horse he didn't care he was like everybody else is below me and that seemed to be his attitude um and the only conversation i had with him was about the the polishing of the tanks and using the they used the brightener um so other than that i don't know him uh that's the second time i've had anything washed there uh and it's been it was four or five years since the last time I got it washed. But, um, I mean, I got the same quality job I would get at a beacon. Or lack of quality, I guess. But, uh, at least there, they'll at least cover the tanks and they use citrus instead of brightener or whatever. But, it's yeah, just not my, my favorite truck wash. I expected it to be better because they took a longer time to actually wash it. And it seemed like they were doing a really good job. But... The, the more I look at the truck, the more I'm like, geez, just shaking my head. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on the Wildwood. Uh, you can use it if you want. I don't, I, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Um, I probably won't go back unless it's for something extreme and I just need to get it done. Um, the Manning, South Carolina TA was definitely a crapshoot, I guess. Uh, the ladies in the, in the office, the the what the cashiers whatever they are the csms i don't know whatever the ta calls them but the ladies that are actually in the office uh, writing up the work those they were great um the guy that did the inspections uh he was quick he did his job very quick very thorough and that was nice it what took so long is the guy that was supposed to do my oil change hurt his hand on the truck they pulled in in front of me which uh I think you guys seen that. Anywho, it was just a grease job. He hurt his hand on the grease job, so he had to go home. I told you that. Um, so yeah, it just took longer to get everything done there. I spent way too much time there, but whatever. We made it here. Uh, I'm gonna get my next load and then head back home. And yeah, I'm gonna also install the next video. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna install or uninstall the uh, Qualcomm and hopefully install the the new. Uh, trucking keep trucking uh eld and do the app and all that kind of stuff and just show you what all it comes with with the unboxing all that good stuff download the app so um please like share subscribe if you got any comments please drop them in the uh, comment section below and follow us on instagram at nomad.trucker and you can follow us on um, instagram as well with our rv lifestyle uh, chaos on the move check out our uh, chaos on the move rv channel on youtube it's uh chaos on the move and we just did the wiki Wachi river we flipped our canoe so that was hilarious what a great time we had um so there'll be more more videos of, of things like that so make sure you check those out and yeah like share subscribe you guys be safe thank you for all the love and the support you guys have sent my way y'all be good stay safe